here we are. And this month, we are celebrating the poems of Alex Gilden. Welcome, Thank Alex. You. Thank you. So, Alex, tell us about yourself. How'd you get to be a poet? How'd you get to Palm Springs? Why don't you leave your house? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start way back. Um, I think I, I, I sort of was born with an art gene because that kind of stuff started uh, early for me. Um, I actually had my first publication when I was six years old. Oh, what? Not a poem, though. It was a painting or drawing. Uh -huh. and it was the cover of a book called When We Go to School. And I don't have it anymore, but I do have, I made a copy of the drawing. Uh -huh. Let's see. And you yeah. said the cover of another little chat book much later. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, and so I was very much interested uh, early on in, in film, loved live performance, Terry, Terry Ray. I was a big theater fan as a kid. I mean, I hey. loved all that stuff. And then came sixth grade and there was this explosion. A teacher named Miss Radashi and she opened up the world of art and music and poetry and it was just, it was, the opening of a door for me, it was really so amazing. The first poem of mine that I have a copy of um, was from 1955. So that would have been when I was in her class. So she was very important for me. But then the other thing I need to say, since I'm lauding her, is with my parents, because they were both um, from large families, children of the Depression, and neither of them, they had to go out and work. So neither of them graduated from high school. So I think they lived vicariously through me. But the important thing for me is that I was an odd child, you know, and, my, you? and I was interested <laughs> in things that, you know, I didn't care much about normal stuff. I was interested in all these other things and made them take me to museums and all this kind of stuff. And they always supported me. So uh, it, it was, and I'm sure a lot of their friends thought, oh my God, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a museum child. Yeah. I had parents and aunts. I had two Auntie Mames that took me oh. off. So. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's sort of all of that. And then I, I, I went off um, after high school, I went to Kent State University. I was a student there. And In then, Ohio. Yes, in Ohio. And, Me too, Ohio. Uh, and I went uh, to work in the news service and I was there until the, until the shootings. And then that was very, very difficult. So I talked my way into the library. I became a rare books librarian. Um, and then I took an early retirement from Kent State. I moved to Santa Fe. I lived in Santa Fe for 22 years. And for lots of reasons, um, decided I needed somewhere else for my last chapter. So I've been here now for a little over four years. And this is not your last chapter, Alex. It was your next chapter. It's different. <laughs> you spent 24 years. Yes. But anyway, so that's, that's kind of it. Oh, and why don't I leave the house? <laughs> you know? I know why. Yes, yeah. We all, know, we all know why. Yeah, you know, everybody has their own comfort level and their own degree, and I just don't go to stores. I don't, I don't go anywhere. I mean, I go out for walks, and that's it. Mm. I was, I'm a little worried about the woman with the, the uh, striped stocking that's stuck under your sofa. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> you should let her up. <laughs> she did, honey. She's <laughs> okay. dead. The Wicked Old Witch is dead. <laughs> That was a house gift for, from, a, from a dear friend when I moved in here. The house dropped on her? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, shall we look at some art inspired by your poems? Oh my God, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm so excited. I know, I know. Let's go here, let's go there. Da da da. Oh, okay. Look at that. I know, let's see, keep going. Gotta love a man with a logo. There we go, I know. <laughs> so here's our first poem for the day. And uh, Alex, why don't you read it to us? Of course. All ills lift when butterflies migrate. 
Yellow shimmer shakes the ordinary dance of angels on earth. Now, Alex, did who who did the art? Does, who, so this um, is I so now that thing I think as he moved my lines over, but that's all right. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it it's this art. computer. It PowerPoint does crazy. <laughs> oh, they did it. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I'm I'm still learning. Uh -huh. but, um, but Terry, just so you know, I sent these poems out probably last November, December to all of our local artists. And so then they created pieces to go with these poems. Oh my goodness. I did not know that's what was happening. And I'm very excited. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So, so. We were gonna, the, the art was going to be all over the walls of Terry's gallery. And I was going to be sitting in the middle. Uh huh. Poems on the opening night, but we're doing it this way instead. Right. No more opening nights for uh, a while. For a while, yeah. Don't say no more opening nights in last chapters, y'all. <laughs> I said for a while. For a while. Okay. Yes. So. <gasps> what? So here, Diane uh, Morgan. Um, she does a lot of painting, but she also does a lot of photography to get her subject matter. Mm -hmm. So Diane gratefully sent us a few of her best photos just to see, you know, what she was, uh, she was able to find and yellow shimmers and fun, fun butterflies from Diane. Are those conjoined or did she do that magic? Which magic? The two butterflies together. Well, I think it's the butterflies, it's spread eagle, honey. <laughs> Is that butterfly sex? I don't know. No, no, it's, it's no, no, a head and tail. Okay. I, I, their their not... tails are touching. <laughs> no, it's the one butterfly that's open winged, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Aren't there two heads? No, that's a head and a tail. It confuses the, their prey so they don't know which side to attack. Well, I am totally confused. I don't know which side to attack. Exactly. So <laughs> just don't. I would leave the butterflies alone. Yeah. All right. Dick okay. the kangaroo rats. You've got experience with that. <laughs> so, and then we've got some more cute ones. This is great on the, probably the roses. And then the light red there. Oh, yes, how the, the color in the, in the wings as well. Yeah. Ah, that is lovely. Here's a fun one. Bet you didn't know they had that long of a tongue. That's the tongue? That's the tongue. Wow. Jeez. I'm not even going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> think what to do with that. <laughs> that flower's smiling right now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's enjoying itself. Mm -hmm. And wow. then here, uh, Alex, we've got your friend, Ira, that sent these in. Tell us about Ira. Uh, he's a very important artist, so I'm so happy he, he, he's doing this. I met him almost 50 years ago, and so we've got lots of territory to cover, but we've done several things together. This is, um, he did my book plate. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it yeah. was, um, there was a tribute book called uh, Guilds in at 50, and we did the book plate on that. Um, and then here's another little book of mine that he did... Um, Funny Ducks that he did the cover for. So we've, we've sort of collaborated on things before and he lives in Brooklyn. Um, and uh, when he saw, when I posted, first posted about this, he said that he would do something. So I'm absolutely delighted that he, he did yeah. it. He's in a lot of museums and important collections, so. Oh, wow. These look like they're edible. I know. <laughs> Do you know what they're made out of, Alex? Well, these I think are are the are the paper. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the butterfly. I can't tell on this one if there's a buildup of material or not. But they're usually they're paper collages, and sometimes there are items that he will put on right. in addition. But this looks to me like it may just be paint uh, layers okay. of paint on this one. I it think it looks like cookie dough to me. Yeah, like a gay cheese spread. I like it. <laughs> So, and there's that one. Yeah, that's 
it's not. So he works a lot in texture, Alex? He's primarily a sculptor. He does small boxes, but he also does uh, wonderful drawings and, and collages. And um, yeah, uh, the, I'm not sure. I, I think these are all uh, works on paper, I presume. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't see a, a, a size, but they're yeah. probably like eight by 10, sort of, I okay. think, I would presume. Yeah, I, I sent a note back to him asking for more information. And uh, like peanut brittle in the bottom. I don't know why I feel like all of her, his work is edible. It just looks yummy. <laughs> <laughs> With the marshmallow sky. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Moving on to Sylvia Smith's migration. Ooh. That. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Lots of, lots of different textures and layers. I like the flowers up at the top. Those Maybe. are like grapes at the bottom to me. I like, yeah. I like the repetition of the circles from the bottom to through it all the way going up and then the larger ones. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's pretty. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Some more photos. Yellow shimmer from Tim North. Yellow on yellow on green. Lots of really bright things. There. Really lovely. Yeah. And then Dance of Angels. Oh. Um, and then oh, Ulrike. Oh. Yes. Musing 12. Uh, this is cool. Uh. Lots of texture, lots of fun things to go digging into and looking at. Acrylic. Okay. Think that, is that like a, a watercolor or? No, it's acrylic. Acrylic. Acrylic and probably collage? I don't know. I didn't ask him. Hmm. Bushi, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> so, because I know there's been a fun collage group that's been working together and coming up with great things. So, but anyway. It's cool. It's pretty. And Veronique, arabesque, as if the butterflies were flying around. Ah. Dancers, so to say. So to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided to get in on it. Uh -huh. But the butterflies aren't quite my thing. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I took the poem down line by line. And so rather than interpret the entire poem, I just interpreted a line in the poem. Which was? Yellow Shimmer. Yellow Shimmer. Oh, yeah. His, he looks, um, his face, his features look kind of um, scary. <laughs> well, the water does that. Yes, you can't tell which end is which, like the butterfly, right? No, I can tell which end. Exactly. Ends. <laughs> you don't know which side to attack. I'm yeah. way more familiar with these kind of tongues than the butterfly tongues. Yeah. <laughs> and then I did Shakes the Ordinary. Oh, oh wow. This is from the new one. Well, no. actually, I did this a while ago, but I haven't been. Oh, oh, really? Oh, I thought it was the new Shakespeare series. Oh, no, not yet. Not it, yet. That's some pretty lovely yellow, Terry. I mean, yes, yeah. it is. It is very lovely. And he's wearing a big headpiece as well underwater. Wow. So branches, all gold branches and grapes. And Did you craft that too? Yes. A man of a thousand talents. Let me tell you. <laughs> gotta be. So. And then Dance of Angels. Uh. Wow. So, Beautiful. Yeah. And that's a sw swimming pool? Yep, that's from the swimming pool. And these are photos with basically no Photoshop to them whatsoever. This is the way it is. This is the photo that I took. Wow. So all that color, all that kind of abstract chalk and stuff that you think is behind it or pastel, that's just fabric at the bottom of the pool. Oh, <laughs> fabric at the bottom of the pool. Oh. Well, you've made me look terrific. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So, moving on to our uh, next. Okay, shall I read? Yes, please. Drinking green tea under strawberry moon, feeling so young I could live another century, but knowing I could die in my sleep. Wow. That's where we get the last stage of his life, Terry. He yeah, when did you write that. this, Alex? How long ago did you write that? Uh, just a couple months ago, I guess. Just before, yeah, it was before the uh, pandemic began. Um, okay. Because I, or was it very late last year? Late, yeah, no, I think it was summer. I, we've had these sitting. Oh, that was last, so it was almost a year ago. Yeah, we've had these sitting ready to go, but timing and everything else yeah, finally yeah, got it's been one year yeah almost a year it's lovely thank you mm -hmm. so then we have wallace's version oh i'm glad you got that there yeah. wow it's wallace's birthday today ah today is wallace's birthday i, I know wallace. wallace i know yeah wallace. you do yeah yes and oh. then it's david hockney's birthday today I don't know him. Uh, the, the painter? I, I'm very much influenced by David Hockney. No, I know who he is, but we're right. not buds. Yeah. And then speaking of birthdays, I want to thank uh, all my UCR folks for sending me a birthday cake for my birthday that was on Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> yes, so, it was. Wow. So I'll be devouring that by myself because nobody can social distance within six feet of this cake. Mine well, has last... got ahead. You could have mailed us a slice. <laughs> I could have. I still have a slice of mine from my COVID birthday, too, in the freezer. Oh, okay. It freezes very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Carol Hatcher. Carol! Oh, my God. Venus Green, yeah. Strawberry Moon. Oh, wow. oh, that's really cool. Good job, Carol. Oh, and that's art history there. Wow, I love that. Right. A little yeah. bit of Venus. A little bit of and, uh, yes. top. It's tea time with Terry right there. Tea time. And, wow. the, and the cup looks like a photograph to me. It, well, it, this is collage, so it probably collage. is. She's, she's probably taken a photo and then like... Painted it up a little. Painted it down a little so it all matches in. Yeah, neato. Yeah, Carol's great. Yeah. Wait, is there a question? Oh, the, oh, by the way, by the way, that was butterfly sex. Oh, I was right. All the, all the you were right. Together? Oh. Yep. Diane. Thank you very too. much. Yep. So <laughs> I know my butterfly sex. Yep, you too. It's part of the Kama Sutra. Oh. <laughs> It's page 128. <laughs> <laughs> and you still don't know which is top and which is bottom. Well, that is, I think they're both bottoms when they do it that way. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sylvia, Ooh. Me to my happy place. Ah. So we've got the strawberry moon or we've got repetitions of the moon. Yes. And we've got the, the tea, um, the tea label down yeah. on the top there. Yeah. Yes. And she probably tea stained a lot of this. Oh, that's true. That's clever. Yeah. If she didn't, uh, Sylvia, I'm just going to make that up for you. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, artists are clever. You can yep, quote they me. are. You can quote me. So. I love all the circles. The, that's yeah. such a great image. <laughs> So, okay, moving on. Linda Atkins, Orchidaceous. Orchidaceous. I didn't, I didn't exactly know which one to put this in, which poem. She just sent it and said, poem one through four. And I'm like, okay. Well, it's beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. Orchidaceous, it's a good word. Yep. All these people keep trying to chat with me now. Oh, you got lots of things going on. Oh, Sylvia says that in green tea, she used tea bags as part of the collage as well. Oh, ah. Wonderful. So we what? can get heckled. I love that. 
Here we go. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> green tea. <laughs> oh, giraffe. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's actually tea, but it's certainly green. Right, exactly. Mm. I've had I've had some of that at certain restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. then Ulrike's Strawberry Moon. Strawberry Moon. <clears throat> Pan and ink. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Very Ooh. neat. Afternoon pause. Very cool. She's gonna have lemonade though. Yeah. I don't blame her. It's could, warm. Could be green tea lemonade. Could, could be. be. Or or yeah, iced green tea with lemons. Yeah. There's a little green on top. Right. That's the that's the scum from the giraffe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Terry, this is lovely, but I was expecting an a strawberry blonde's butt for strawberry moon. <laughs> no. It is, we do have, well, you never know. We, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. This is a college. We'll get there. Uh, no, I can't she's, she's, a, she's a strawberry blonde. She's strawberry. Yes. But this is feeling so young. And then that moves into, I could live another century. Wow, look at that. And I kind of took it as I could live in another century. And that no shoes for harm. Crazy great. Yeah. And then I could die in my sleep. Oh, that's really cool, Terry. Very good. Yay. <gasps> a new one. When a hummingbird sits, it's a prayer between swoops to sweetness. Mm. Oh, let's see how people did with this. <laughs> there we go, Susan Fisher's oh. hummingbird. Oh, wow. It's on... And then that's acrylic. Yeah. That texture behind there is amazing. Yeah, that would make great wallpaper. <laughs> I'm sure she'd love that. <laughs> I know, but it would. I mean, classic. Yes, it would. It would. Diane Bird in Paradise that I misspelled. I'll fix that. <laughs> but because these are Mexican birds of paradise, Mexican are the flowers. Yes. And then there's the hummingbird in I'll his paradise. So. That sky's pretty blue. Yeah. Well, it's a great contrast to the red orange. Yeah. So. Great well. colors. Mm -hmm. Diane does that. She's good like that. Good job, Diane. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Yes. Thirty-one flavors. Lot of wild. Oh. I know so many different flowers. Which one first? <laughs> They're also tasty, and a couple of them are map flowers. San Francisco. That's really interesting. Uh huh. What's a San Francisco flower? I don't know, but that it's got it's the map of San Francisco. You can read the word. Oh, 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 oh I, di I, I didn't see that till I got closer. I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, it's a map. Yeah, Terry isn't as crazy as we think he is. I know. It's just... I can every once in a while I can recognize San Francisco and butterfly oh, deck. So I am not worthless. <laughs> You've got your glasses on and I don't. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here we have sweetness. Ooh. A and a hummingbird in the same shot. Yes. No, it's a two for one. Yeah. Cool. We didn't even charge extra for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Tim, catching that. Yup. Ulrike Ooh. with her hummingbirds. Ah. She's really branching out. She's adding a lot of texture and layers and backgrounds. So this is fun to see her do. Yeah, I love it. 
And more circles. I love all the circles. Lots of circles. Yes. Ooh. Angel's Prayer. Angel's Prayer. Look at that. Cool. And, and the wind must have been really blowing. Yes. Yes. I do have another model off to the side holding those two pieces of fabric. Oh. So. But the way that the white fabric came up and, and bent back and the sun just hit the light perfectly. Looks like a wing for sure. Exactly. So between swoops. That's my friend Alex. He's the one that designed my logo. Oh wow. Yes. Very nice Alex. Mm-hmm. And then to sweetness. Oh. But he's gonna hurt himself, isn't he? <laughs> Great. No, he's one of these Parker kids that can run on rocks and anything anywhere. Ooh. So. Well, if anybody gets a boo boo here, I'll take care of them. Just so right. you know. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. So, and we have the last one for the day Goldfish in water, silverfish on land, no fish in air except when artists put them there. Wow, this is a very good setup for artists. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. It's Terry. What did yeah. Terry do? Goldfish in water. Those are cool. I mean, that looks like goldfish. Right. I mean, and this is, just, there's no bodies in there, so don't look. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just there's gotta bodies. be one somewhere, come on. I know, exactly. So, this was between shoots, right? Sylvia's secrets of the sea. Secrets of the sea. Is it sideways, Terry? No, those are fish swimming. I thought they were something else. Never mind. <laughs> uh, don't say I said that. Okay. That. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the lobster says that's the bottom. So. Yeah. 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 I thought that was a coral thing and that's fish. Uh, oh, I can, I can see how you, yeah, yeah. kind of want it the other way. Veronique's Golden Pond. Oh, where's Catherine Hepburn? I know. The loons, the loons. <laughs> Pretty. Yes. Ooh. More musings. Yeah. That's Everybody seems to like the goldfish aspect and not the silverfish aspect. Well, um, nobody likes silverfish. <laughs> aren't as pretty as fish. Yeah. Right. There we go. Oh, that's a really lovely one. Diane's coy. She is. She is very coy. She's very coy. <laughs> <laughs> And then more on Golden Pond. She's coy with a pond. That's pretty too. Yep. So there's a silverfish. Oh, a silverfish on land. Ooh. That's pretty <laughs> clever. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, That's... I love the blue in the wing. It's so nice. Yes. Yep. Is that a hawk? No. No, I think it's smaller. Oh. Something cute. Something cute. Yeah. No fish in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Unless the artist puts them there. Ah. It's not going to be in the air for long. <laughs> right. There's an artist, you know, putting a fish in the air as well. Really seen them. That's cool. That's um, That's some length and wind. Yep. Yep. That was a fun day. I actually had two models, one's releasing and one's catching or running really fast. Uh, and then I'm just sitting there, click, 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 click. So I've got more pieces of just the fabric as well. Huh. Just flying in the air. Yep. Yep. So there we go. Very good. Everybody did a great job. Everybody did a great job. Let's see if we have any new questions. We have 
You found the maps good, Sylvia said Donald. And Carol says, love art to Alex's poetry. It's great to hear his voice to his words. Oh, thank you. This was a terrific challenge. Oh, awesome. Fabulous. Lovely stuff, Alex. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It was fun. What's it feel like to have um, an artist paint according to your words? Is it a cool feeling? Well, it was, no, it was very exciting. When, when Terry first mentioned the possibility, I, I just was quite ecstatic because, I mean, you always want an audience, whether you're on stage or writing or whatever, and um, poets usually don't have very big audiences. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've been I've been publishing for sixty some years, you know, and it's um, it's a it's a tough tough road. Yeah. So to first of all have people read your stuff intelligently and then respond to it, you know, is it's just very exciting. Um, That's a treat, yeah. So I was, I was pleased by the whole project and I, lo I love the way this has come out and we have more to come, so. Yes, 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 in two more weeks. Yeah. Um, so everybody has until Sunday to get in the rest of their works for poems five through nine. Yes, so put some fruit on your head and get to yes, it. There's a Carmen Miranda poem. <laughs> there is, oh. Yes, there is. We're gonna be so, old. Perhaps Terry, you could get in the, involved. I'm oh, sure yes. Can yes. Can I dress like Carmen Miranda? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take photos of you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And throw, and throw you in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carmen Miranda drowning. Yes. Well, I'll put the apples and the oranges in the after, 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 after you like around too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. I'm game. I'll do it. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, good. Fabulous. And then also um, on the 25th, our next show, I want to do a state of the art discussion. <clears throat> um, so we're going to add a little bit on to the, to the show and kind of talk about what people have been doing during COVID to either keep their juices flowing and more importantly, how they keep selling their art. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully line up a couple people from the galleries, uh, maybe somebody from the museum, and then all of us will be able to kind of chit chat and share uh, what we found that works and isn't working for us. Good. Fantastic. Yes. Fancy. I think I got one more. Oh, Sylvia says, I found Alex's poems a great opportunity to have something to focus on while in a world of uncertainty. Oh, thank you, thank Alex you. and Tara. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. So, there we go. Kelly, is there anything else that you want to... You know, <clears throat> excuse me. I just was getting a message from the control booth. Yeah. One second. Uh-huh. Oh. Seems like everyone wants to sing you happy birthday. <laughs> Look at that. So as we unmute, okay. right. everyone, okay. unmute everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi Bess. Hi, I'll see you later. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> unmute, Lindsay. Happy Lindsay. birthday to you. To you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, 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 dear Terry. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mara and Agam and Amy and Mike and Clara and Ramon. Now I'll yeah. take all over your face. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Bye. Wait, we'll see everybody in two weeks. Yay. Okay. Bye.